Uncle Vicky here and welcome back to my channel. Today is the last final episode of Thriftmas. I hope you guys enjoyed um, looking at my Goodwill finds and all the fashionable outfits that I tried to put together and style for you guys since I have nowhere to wear them to. I figured for this last uh, episode I would show you guys a very delicious um, hot pie recipe um, where you can get rid of all of those Christmas chicken turkey whatever it is you have sitting around the house a lot of the ingredients can be interchanged so I think most of you will have items that you can throw into this pot pie and it is absolutely delicious so if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and let's get to cooking you guys <laughs> So in the description below, I will leave the exact recipe. Um, I'm making five of these, so I'm sure you guys aren't going to make that many. Um, so you're not going to follow exactly what I'm doing, but the ingredients that you're going to need is butter, chopped onion, chopped celery. You're going to need chicken. You can use turkey. You can use, um, if you've got like pulled pork or you could probably use ham. Any meat would probably be okay in this recipe. A bag of peas and carrots. A deep dish pie crust. Pillsbury pie crust. Potatoes, which I have already baked partially and um, froze them heavy whipping cream an array of seasonings salt thyme leaves garlic powder or you can use fresh garlic black pepper an egg and some water you're going to take your four tablespoons of butter you guys are going to see me use eight because again I am making four of these Once your butter is nice and golden brown and melted, we are going to go ahead and add our half a cup of chopped onions. I'm adding two cups of chopped onions. You're going to add a half a cup of chopped celery. I've got two cups of chopped celery. Then we're going to add a half a cup of chopped carrots and peas. I'm going to add um, just that one bag there. Now is also when we are going to season. <clears throat> if you need exact measurements, I will leave them down below. But y'all know black folks, we season just until it feel right. So we've got some garlic, some black pepper, some thyme leaves, and just a sprinkle of salt. The chicken was already seasoned and of course your chicken broth um, is full of sodium as well so we don't need too much salt and we're just going to let this simmer and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes all right you guys so these vegetables are sauteing up very nicely and it smells very delicious so next we are going to um, thicken this up so we are going to take a half a cup of flour 
or you guys are actually going to take a fourth of a cup. <clears throat> I will be using a whole cup all together. And then what you want to do is you want to add this in about a teaspoon or two at a time because you don't want your base to be um, thick and clumpy. So we're just going to add just a little and stir that up real good. See how it's already thickening up? We're actually going to turn this down some too. And I'm actually going to rotate this with the broth because I think that it's going to make it way too thick all at once. So for each pie, you need one and three fourths a cup of broth. All right, so I'm gonna add a little broth. And then I'm going to go back in and add some more flour. And then I'm going to continue to do that until um, all the flour and all the broth is added to the mix. to use a half a cup of half and half cream oh my gosh you guys this smells so good so good so good so good so here's one cup then here's the second cup and then <clears throat> We are going to stir that real good. Get that nice creamy color, you guys. All right, so now we're going to add the chicken and the potatoes and we can actually turn this off. So the chicken and the potatoes are already cooked. We just want to fold them into the mix. Um, each recipe calls for um, a two and a half cups of chicken. And I'm doing four of these. So I have two chickens which I have deboned. Break that up. Oh, y'all, this is going to be so good and so chunky. You can shred your chicken. Uh, I personally am a chunky chicken type of girl because I'm a chunky girl, so I like chunks. Um, but do it however you would like. All right, we're going to do one last taste test. Guys, make sure you're using a clean spoon when you do this. Don't be nasty. Y'all know why we don't like potlucks. Mmm. Okay, yeah. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're going to fold in the potatoes. And we will be ready to assemble our pie. Now, be very careful not to mush your potatoes just fold them in very gently because <clears throat> you don't want the potatoes to be like a mush you just want like nice chunks of um, potatoes so we're going to stir this ooh, two or three times and be done with that Guys, 
So now that we have that out of the way, it is time to assemble our pie. <laughs> product that we have prior to placing it in the oven so I am going to let the oven preheat to 350 and I'm going to throw the rest of the pies together and I will see you guys in a bit all right you guys so this is the finished product it looks so good and I cannot wait to bite into it <clears throat> But I'm going to let this cool and I'm going to enjoy this for my dinner. And thank you guys for watching so much. Bye.